So hi, Bindi. Um, well, obviously we've got to know each other uh, over your time in Kate's Club, uh, but I wanted to give people, and I need to say happy 54th birthday for Friday in advance. <laughs> And seriously, I know you don't take this compliment well, but you do look incredible for that. And uh, we've got to know each other within Kate's Club, but I thought it would be really helpful for these ladies who will be able to re relate to where you are in life for you to share how you felt when you first found me and when you first uh, found the programmes that I do. Um, could you share with the ladies how you felt back then? Yeah, I, well, I was feeling pretty fed up with myself, to be honest. I was uh, overweight very much and I tweaked my back, so I was a bit sore. So I knew I wasn't going to feel up to running, which is what I used to do. Um, and I just, yeah, it was feeling really down on myself and had had enough of how I, how I looked and clothes being too tight and needing to wear more and more loose clothing to hide the bulges and bumps um, that were I knew were underneath. Yes, I mean, when you know that uh, everybody that joins my programme, I encourage them to do measurements, but I seem to remember you saying to me that you didn't feel even good enough that you wanted to do those measurements. No, no, I saw your list of measurements and I thought I'll just do, I'll do the waist, I'll do, I'll do the thighs and the hips and maybe the bust, but I'm not sure I'll bother with the calves because I hate my calves, they're big anyway and I know they're huge, they were huge at the time, um, but actually looking back I wish I had done more measurements because I would have had more comparisons and yes. Some areas tend to, you tend to lose the weight or the, the shape more, you change shape more on some areas than you do on others. You definitely um, do. So I might have been losing pair. it yeah, on the yeah. calves when, and not being aware of it necessarily. Um, so yeah, so looking back, I wish I'd done, I had done more measuring. Yes, and how, how long ago was that, Bindi? Well, it was last September when I made the decision after sort of the, the summer holidays, I decided, right, that's it, I need to do something. And I had sort of been following you a bit on Facebook and thinking and looking at your posts and thinking, actually, this seems to connect with me and make sense. It's low impact, so therefore, hopefully I could do it and not damage my back anymore yes. um, and be careful. Um, and you were advertising the belly blasting challenge and the bums and thighs and I thought right rather than go full whack for the the Kate's club I'll, I'll buy those two and I'll see how I get on yes so I bought those and alternated weeks of doing those so I didn't get bored and fed up of doing the, the same kind of exercises so that gave me the variety so I basically did that for the, up until Christmas Really made the a few breaks face over to Kate's Club. Yeah, and then I moved to Kate's Club. I made the decision before Christmas. I said, right, I need to commit to this and go for it. I'm so honoured that you had the courage to go from watching nothing but pre-recorded, which and many ladies will relate to that, and that's mm. what the majority of things are that are out there. Yeah. That you took the courage to go from the pre-recorded to come into Kate's Club, where I'm interacting with you five days a week. I know if you're there, I know if you're not there, if you've got questions, I can answer them. And so now, having come through to this stage of 2021, uh, here we are sat in May, and uh, yeah, how do you feel now? Oh, amazing, amazing. Um, it took a few weeks to get my head around the PSC because mm -hmm. back in sort of yeah. September, October, I, I tried to understand it. I had a go at a few times um, and I was reducing my portion size more than anything, um, which obviously had an effect because mm -hmm. I, I lost a stone up to Christmas, which was great. Um, but then from January, I decided, right, I really need to understand this and, and work on it. So I'm still working on it. It's definitely a work in progress. But share um, your results, Bindi, come but, on. 
Yeah. 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 Oh, goodness knows. I haven't counted them all up, to be honest. I should do, really, but maths is never my forte. <laughs> Fair to say you've shrunk two dress sizes? Uh, possibly. Possibly, yes. Yeah, def definitely one good dress size. And I have been trying on some, some outfits from my summer wardrobe ready for the weekend and feeling a lot better about myself, which is really good. So is it, do you think all of those uh, clothes that you were wearing uh, back in September last year, uh, fair to say they all fit you pretty comfortably now? Oh, they're too big, too big, much too loose. And my husband's saying, I want you to wear tighter fitting clothing because you look amazing. Yes. <laughs> and has it given you more energy in general? Oh yes, yeah, walking the dog. I'm, I'm now choosing to, do steeper walks and doing I'm going up and down and up and down up in the hillside here with yes. the dog instead of just along and back I'm actually got the energy and I've and the motivation to do more fantastic because I think I'm right in saying it's over two stone that you've lost yes yeah. yes which yeah. you know that goes against the grain me even sharing scales but however for people to get an idea of yeah. the gravity of how far you have come and so how are you feeling seeing family members for this weekend for your birthday who haven't seen you for a while are you going to be strutting your um, off so so excited to see them yeah yeah really really pleased it's, it's going to oh, be I wish I could be a fly on the wall to see your family's reaction of your transformation because I've seen it within your confidence within you where, where you interact in the group um with everything it's yeah. uh, I am so yeah. thrilled for you and yeah. so if there was a lady here feeling the wrong end the kind of fat end of the wardrobe where they're going for the baggy clothes and they're feeling meh on a daily basis due to possibly menopausal symptoms or just life getting in the way um what if they're on the fence about to uh, come in to join me in any way shape or form what would you say to them bendy i'd say go for it go for it uh, try and get yourself into a routine uh, for me, first thing in the morning before breakfast works for me. I know that if I leave it till later, it just doesn't happen. But for me, that works. <clears throat> for others, it's not possible. Yes. Um, so, but getting into a routine, getting yourself in the right place mentally and focused and thinking, right, I'm going to do as much as I can with this, commit yeah. to it. Um, as I said, I wasn't fully committed last, last yes. year, but I still managed to lose some weight. And do you think that that's also to do with the fact that within Kate's Club, obviously you've got me chatting about things or yapping about things on a daily basis, but also those motivational Mondays where I help try and keep you in the frame with the psychology and keeping you in the frame of the motivation. Do you, is, do you think that's, do you think you've sussed it now? Do you think this is you moving forward, no more yo-yo dieting for you? Yeah, oh, definitely, definitely. I mean, I've, I've done all the various Weight Watchers, Women World, various things in the past, having had put on three stone with every child that I've had and then eventually got rid of it, um, but then put it on again in the later years and with the menopause um, and, and found it so hard to shift that middle. Yeah. But, having found this new program and and the community I just love the connection for me that works brilliantly mm -hmm. um I work better as part of the group yeah. so so that's been really really good and yeah this is it this is me for life definitely Yay. well Bindi thank you so much for taking time to share your journey um, with the other ladies and I don't doubt for a minute it'll help inspire others and let them know there is a different way and so thank you thank you so much and I will look forward to seeing you bright and breezy in Kate's Club tomorrow. <laughs> Lovely.